so I feel like now is sort of a make it or break it time for Microsoft when it comes to trying to sell the Xbox Series X and S. We're at year four, um, and it looks like the PlayStation 5, you know, is going to be the clear winner of this generation, obviously. But I mean, you know, the PS4 5 Pro is selling well, apparently, according to Sony, it is selling better than the PS4 Pro in the same uh, amount of time or whatever. So maybe they just created sort of a surplus of, you know, um, consoles availability and things like that. We'll see how that works out. You know, like I said, I think it's it, it makes sense to pick one up if you are in a situation where you can maybe get a deal on it. And if you have a solid TV, uh, that makes it worthwhile, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to Xbox, they're doing things, you know, a little bit differently. Uh, not too much of a surprise, really, since they said they weren't going to do a, um, a mid-gen refresh this time. Uh, I'm not really too mad about it. At first, I was like, eh, I wish they maybe would have done one, but clearly they didn't want to do one. Uh, but that doesn't mean they don't have hardware to sell or something to, you know, push. And I, I think that's really kind of where we're at right now with this. I think that, you know, they have to get more consoles out there. I think they, they clearly have to do that. And so I'm very excited to see if any of this stuff kind of pays off. You know, obviously, we are definitely kind of looking at a situation where they are very much uh, behind with what the competition is doing. And we need to see some, uh, you know, some movement. But let's go ahead and get into it. Should be a fun video. What's up, everybody? Crap Gamer with Crap Gamer Reviews back with yet another video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Please like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel and it means a lot to me personally. Uh, I do daily gaming content. I try to have fun with it. You know, make sure you guys check out the channel, tell your friends, that kind of stuff. Uh, I try to be informative and fun. So we know that Microsoft tries a lot of stuff to get Xboxes sold, or at least they, they, they used to. Uh, last year, they did an incredible deal on the Series X, which, by the way, you know, I know people think of me sometimes as a hater of Xbox. I like Xbox a lot. That's why I'm so hard on them, right? So when it comes down to it, uh, you know, I like Xbox. I, I just wish that they would do a better job of, of pushing it and taking advantage of the platform itself. And, you know, again, I, I just think that that's something that they need. You know, it makes sense to do that. You know, and now we're starting to see that, you know, you, you were able to kind of get an Xbox Series X at a very good price of $350 last year. And now it looks like you're going to be able to... Um, do something kind of similar uh, this year. Hopefully, they're going to do that all all December. But for right now, things are on sale, which I think is really, really cool. There's a lot of price cuts and things like that, people getting ready for Black Friday. Um, it's not time for Black Friday just yet, but the deals have already begun over the past few days. There's been some notable discounts that went live for everything from the Series X to various controllers. So I'm going to link this. You guys can check it out. You can start with the Series X. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more deals to come through. Microsoft's most powerful console in the coming weeks. For now, the U.S. Microsoft Store is offering $50 discount on the OG model so you can get it the same price as the new white one that has a little bit more storage but hey it is what it is so anyway in terms of controllers there's a bunch of early deals in various regions um the, the Amazon ones and different things like that different colored ones um I just think that it makes a, a lot of sense to be able to kind of say hey you know what I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of getting these deals I think the main deals that a lot of people are looking for are the expansion cards now these things what a pain in the ass these things have been right now listen i've got multiple expansion cards because you know i've got so many games and i don't want to have to download stuff if i actually want to be able to play it again so um you know when you look at it and you're kind of just going okay well these things are kind of expensive what can i do to kind of reduce the cost or whatever well buy i always suggest getting them on sale or whatever you know um for instance, there's some good deals. You can get the the one uh, terabyte one for uh, 130. You can get the two terabyte card for 199. I know that seems uh, very expensive, and it is to be sure, but it's not like terribly expensive, like where you would think that it would be, you know, just awful. Now, um, there's plenty more to come in the future as well. Uh, if you honestly like, I think Black Friday and stuff would be a good time to get a Series X. But I also kind of want to point out that. Um, you know, probably December, you're going to see even better deals. They might even go down to the 350 
mark temporarily to try to compete with what Sony is trying to do. And, you know, hopefully that works out. You know, I, I want to see Microsoft be able to go out there and be competitive and get people to kind of um, jump into the idea that, you know, Xbox is a, a great box, you know, and I always say that too. I'm like, you know what? Xbox is like the Series X is such a great console. Um, it's such a shame that so many people have a negative look on the, um, you know, <laughs> negative look and, and opinion on, on Xbox these days. You know, I, I really hope that they kind of change things around in the future to where people can get back to just like, okay, you know, Xbox is a great little platform or whatever. Um, and that's exactly what, you know, I think the, kind of the future holds. So, you know, you get some good news there as well. Um, the other thing that I thought was pretty cool that when, and this could lay, maybe actually lead to some cool stuff happening, um, even more so in the future, uh, I would love to see Xbox be able to add more of the Activision library to Game Pass. Uh, like right now, they actually added, um, which is pretty interesting to see the way that they uh, added the Spyro trilogy, which, hey, you know what? Good, good on them. It kind of makes sense that they've been able to do this. So it's confirmed for Game Pass that the Spyro trilogy is arriving this week. Um, everyone's favorite purple dragon is bringing the heat, actual fire-breathing dragon. Uh, November 12th release of Spyro Reignited Trilogy on Game Pass. Uh, there was a talking point where it was kind of asking before, according to this site, where where are all the Activision Blizzard titles? And now it looks like we're about to get one, according to new uh, an official Xbox tease. Xbox Game Pass team on social media have posted a clip what appears to be Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, suggesting it's on its way soon. Um, the conclusion in the comments is obviously that it must be Spyro and the Reignited uh, Trilogy is the only real candidate for inclusion, although some are perhaps naively hoping that it means a new game, but obviously it wasn't that. It was the, um, you know, it was actually the the idea that, hey, we have you know, this Spyro Trilogy and whatever, and it's like, you know, again, I, I think a lot of people were a little bit disappointed, you know, myself included. Uh, we were in this weird situation where, you know, over time we expected more of these activision games i mean microsoft paid a, a big chunk of money to activision for you know the right to to buy them out and then what happened basically was we were all expecting to get like this influx of games and we, that never really happened you know so when we're all sitting there hoping for you know these games to finally make their way to you know game pass and then finally they're starting to kind of creep their way in you know again i think a lot of people were really kind of hoping that the older call of duty games would hit and that would be a big thing but again it's weird because whenever the call of duty games the old ones go on sale they always creep up the, the top of the chart so maybe microsoft's not keen on putting those in game pass because they do make a good amount of money from them um, even to this day. So, you know, I, I, I don't know what else to, to kind of say. Like the Spyro Trilogy, it's great. I've had it since pretty much launch myself so it doesn't really do me any good as i own it but um you know when you look at things and you look at how microsoft is kind of handling these things uh like the spiral trilogy i've seen that before previously for you know a a decent uh, amount of money for like 10 bucks 10 15 bucks so again i always say for me anyway i always would much rather own these games than um kind of rent them in uh you know <laughs> in, in in a state of you know perpetual rentedness right so you know i hope that we see some kind of idea in the future where hey more people are into buying and owning their content you know i just that's my hope it's like so many people are quick to give up their their rights you know and they, they just go oh there's nothing we can do about it just accept it it's like imagine if everybody had that same kind of mentality nothing would ever get done i mean i don't want to be too preachy or whatever but it's just like honest man <laughs> you know it's just like <laughs> what would ever get done anywhere if everybody was just like things are the way they are uh we might as well accept it and you know just you know that's that's what it is right that's that's a terrible terrible way to kind of um do anything or live you know so yeah uh, anyway cool to see that i hope that we see more 
games coming to Game Pass that you know from from the Activision deal uh, in the future would be nice to see um, how that kind of works out. And I'm sure a lot of you are very excited as well. So rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer up. I'll catch you next time. Crap gamer out.